Hi, I'm Liz Parker, Senior Editor of Candy Industry Magazine. Today we are here with Courtney LeDrew, Senior Marketing Manager of Confectionery for Cargill. Thanks for being here with us today. Thank you, Liz. It's so great to see you. Thanks, you too. Um, so what is trending in the gummy can category right now? Well, there's a couple things going on in gummies. And as you know, they're quite popular right now with consumers. So one of the major trends that we're seeing is around plant-based. So traditionally, a lot of gummies are made with gelatin, and some of the best-selling gummy products on the market do contain gelatin, but we've seen this interest in consumers looking for plant-based options. And so one of the ways to do that is with pectin. So we're seeing quite a few product launches in the market that are based with, best, based with pectin, and some of them have a plant-based claim, or some of them are even considered to be vegan. So you'll see vegan claims on package. Another trend that we're seeing is around better for you gummies, and sometimes that is really around the sugar. So we see reduced sugar gummies, and we see quite a few gummies that have no added sugar. Another trend that we're seeing is around texture. And so this means in many instances, maybe a harder texture. There also are some new gummies in the market that have a liquid center. So you bite down in the gummy, and then in the middle, you have some some sweetness, some uh, liquid that oozes out that's a pretty cool texture. There's also a product on the market that's been pretty popular with consumers, and it is a gummy center, and then it has tiny bits of crunchy candy all around it. So you get that dual texture of the crunchiness and then the soft center. So we're seeing a lot of plays with the different types of texture. The other trend that we're seeing is around flavor. And a lot of that is limited edition flavors. So for example, in the fall, we're seeing flavors like uh, apple harvest. In the summer, you might see something like lemonade or cotton candy. And so really enticing consumers with flavors that are pretty uh, pertinent to the season that we're in. And then the other thing we're seeing is a little bit outside of the confectionery space. It's in the supplement space. So we're also seeing gummies really expand into that market. And many consumers are tired of taking capsules or pills and they're looking for different formats. And so we see a lot of new gummy supplements popping up and that would be totally outside of this category, but still fun nonetheless. And with these current trends, how does Cargill work with the current trends? Yeah, so what we do is we're always monitoring what's going on and our innovation team uh, in Minneapolis. So we're able to work with customers to try to deliver some of these on-trend ideas. And so we have a whole team that really understands different types of texture. And that's one area that we're exploring. We're also investing more money in consumer research. And so when I saw you at Sweets and Snacks a few months ago, we talked about our gummy texture study. So we did a study where we were trying to understand what types of texture resonate with consumers. And what we found was that overall consumers did like a little bit of a softer chew more of a pectin based gummy but we also identified that there were two distinct segments in the market one group liked the harder firmer chewy gummy and then there was that group that liked that soft gummy so we're investing in research and then the other thing that we're doing is also investing in new ingredients and so we have a pipeline of new sweeteners of new bulking agents of new texturizing ingredients all to serve this gummy market and on that note, um, do you have any tips for producers on gummy formulation? Yeah, so I will say I'm a marketer. I am not a, uh, a technical right. services rep. Uh, but I think one, thing's, one thing that you do have to consider is what's that base texturizer that you're using? So for example, there's big differences between pectin and gelatin. And if you use pectin in your gummy, you will have a softer chew. There are also things that you need to consider like depositing temperature, pH levels, uh, water activity and also uh, the solids in the product. So those are some some key considerations, and that's something that our team of experts can help you with. The other big thing that we're able to help with, or a consideration that manufacturers need to keep in mind, is around sugar reduction. And so if you're making a gummy that has reduced sugar, no added sugar, that sugar creates bulk in the finished product. And when you remove that and replace the sweetness with a high intensity sweetener like stevia, many times you need something to add that bulk back. And so we do have products in our portfolio, like maltitol syrup, for example, or even erythritol to help add that bulk back. And that's something, of course, that we can help you if you're formulating a gummy like that. I was going to ask about, about that, like low or sugar, low sugar, sugar-free type things. Um, what about flavors? Anything with that? 
Um, yeah, we certainly, we work with different flavor houses to help you deliver products with on-trend flavors. And that's certainly, we have a lot of experience in that area. Okay. Um, and then what is next for Cargill in the gummy space in either late later this year or early of next year? Well, we do have some new ingredients in our portfolio that I can't disclose yet, um, but we will be making announcements as new ingredients hit the market. So we certainly have uh, things like that. And we're also looking at new studies to do new, new types of consumer research. We actually recently conducted a study around claims called Claim Tracker, where we tested front of package claims on gummies with consumers to see what types of claims resonated more. And uh, I'll give you one little tidbit from that study. We found that gummies that have claims around natural sweeteners, they tended to resonate with consumers more than some of the other claims that we tested. And so that's another way that we're thinking about the future of the gummy market is through some of the consumer insights that we're working on. That makes sense to me. I know consumers are always looking for like better for you products, especially this year. Um, So it makes sense if you see something like natural flavors, natural colors, it would sound better on the packaging. Yes, for sure. Well, thanks again for being here with us. I think we're just about out of time. Okay. Well, it was so great to speak with you. Thanks. Same to you.